Greetings from the north, everybody. I am Mike Havagon here. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Half-Life Blind. In the last episode, a lot of stuff happened. It's actually been, it's been a while since I recorded, but at the time of this being recorded, I still have not been able to edit the last bunch of videos, actually. So I just want to record, possibly finish the game today, if possible. All right, um, let's, we, we have made our way up onto this rooftop. We would be brief pause in the action, it seems. So let's find out what we're supposed to do. <laughs> Alright, I bet we gotta get in there. I did it. Now do I have to break this, or...? Nope. That doesn't sound good at all. Alright, looks like I made a mistake! Oh. Oh man. Do I really want to risk all the trouble of going back up there? No, I don't. One second. Alright, clearly I did not uh, investigate very well. Alright, maybe it's got maybe something to do with the fan. They wouldn't just put a fan here for no reason. Whoops. Alright, come on. Get up here. Nope. Okay, um... One other thing I did see that might be a possibility, not the Tau Cannon, is this? Nope. Maybe I've got to get a running start and get over there? Or over there? What? Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Oh. Okay, um. I'm going guideless right now. This part, I am determined to go guideless. Because, well, I was talking to a friend of mine, you all know Tony. Tony Tones Gaming. Who, funnily, hilariously enough, in my opinion, was uh, actually quote-unquote inspired to get up and and purchase Half Life, and it, after watching the Let's Play, oh, that was just stupidity. One second. Okay, so yeah, Tony, he was inspired to get Half Life after watching the Let's Play, or after seeing parts of the Let's Play and hearing me talk about it, because I haven't really talked about how friggin' great this game is. But he, uh, we both have a, had a little bit of a discussion. Where it comes down to um, our differences when playing games blind for the first time, and uh, Tony, like uh, I'm sure, like a lot of people, I'm sure, uh, really, really strongly subscribe to the theory that you like you've got to figure figure it out for yourself, otherwise it's spoiled. And that has just not ever been true for me. Oh, I think I found my entrance point. Oh well, frig. Now, it's not that I don't value finding things out, because when I find things out on my own, I do feel extremely accomplished. But, for me, especially now that I'm a Let's Player, I should clarify. I really only have, like, oh, come on, you jerk. But, like, I really only don't like finding things out if I'm Let's Playing it, because I have to have commentary attached to things. But, like, if I'm just playing a game, then sure, I'll figure it out. Here we go. See, look, I did it! That, that doesn't sound good. You're heading for the Lambert complex, aren't you? I was heading there myself until I wound up here and, well, simply lost my nerve. Take one look through that door and you'll see what I mean. If you intend to go on, then I beg of you, proceed with extreme caution. Oh, dear. But yeah, Tony is no stranger to blind Let's Plays. He did, uh... Heavy Rain Blind, which is, in my opinion, the best Let's Play to ever, like, the best Let's Play on the internet. It's just so good. Everyone go check it out. I will link it to it, link to it in the, in the description. But, like, like I said, yeah, if I don't, if I'm just playing something, I will do my best to figure it out. Like, a good, great example of that is Uncharted 3. Because, like, I got that game at launch. I'm just going to go ahead and say this right now with a pause so I'm not totally freaked out by whatever's in that hallway. But, yeah, like, 
I did like there was no guides out for it at the time. So I had to figure stuff out. And most of the stuff I did, except for the things that I got really stuck on. And the reason I am so potent to using guides, potent's not the right word there, but is because it will sour the game experience for me. And I don't like that. I don't want the game to have memories for me of have being trouble, excuse me, difficult to, to figure out or frustrating. So I will use a guide if I have to, but only, like, like what I do, is I'll only use a guide to, like, get the very, very bare minimum part of where I'm stuck at. So, like, I'll say, okay, you need to go through this door. I'm like, okay, guide done. Now, I'll go through that door so I know what needs to be done. Then I can figure out the rest for myself. But I'm going to go ahead and set up a save game right here. And probably be very terrified. Oh! Right off the bat, great start. Holy... Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? Did... What? Did I die? Let's go. I'll wait right here. I... Did I die? I totally died. Oh my gosh, that's madness. Explosion's so huge that it literally killed me. Oh, cool, I got some of these. So I can kill myself even faster. Maybe I'm supposed to hide back here? No, wow. Wow. Okay, so clearly I'm not supposed to destroy these boxes. Wow, wow. You actually have to avoid these for once. Is that you can't just shoot them and hide. That is pretty smart, actually. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, jeez. Come on. I really just don't want to hit that. Come on. There we go. Huh? Oh. Holy crap. Like, that is insanity. Holy shit. Okay, now I see... Oh, crap. Now it makes sense, sort of. Oh, damn. You know what? I'm not even going to take chances. Whoa! No, 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 no. There. Just because I want there to be no bullets going off. Alright, this is not correct. Oh, this is so crazy. You can't even be serious right now. What? How the f- There's more head crabs somewhere. I can hear them. Head crabs. Okay, so I guess I can't- I can literally shoot nothing. Also, this guy is smoking. Oh, this is stupid. Oh, is there- Oh! GG. Aw, oh, man. Alright, well, I will be right back. Whoops. Oh, this sucks. Crap. Okay. We're back here. We're gonna save. And we are going to examine our surroundings. Oh man, I can't believe I can actually make it under that.
Come on, you can get up there. You can do it. Maybe not. Oh, jeez, that was close. All right. Come on, get up. Get up there. Okay, nope, no, 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 no. Mmm, mmm. Oh, this sucks. But it's brilliant. Okay, we are gonna try from over here. Holy crap. Oh, I gotta watch out for those. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, this sucks. So this elevator is my final goal. But how to get there? I'm gonna assume that just jumping through here will not work. Nope. Hmm. This is interesting. Let's see. I think I can get away with breaking this one. Oh, good. Oh, good. What, about, what if I broke this? Ugh, bad things. Huh. Interesting idea. Can I... Can't... Mm. Oh, jeez, that was close. Oh! Okay, so I cannot destroy anything that has a grenade. Or that houses a grenade, like the end of a beam. Like, if I shoot that... Oh! Jeez. Alright, but I am determined to figure this one out by myself. Whether or not that's a realistic possibility remains to be seen. Can I sneak under this? Yep. Okay, there's something in here. Oh! Okay, so I gotta go over here and jump over the beam. And then do what? Oh! Blow myself up, apparently. Okay, um, I have figured out something, and I have a save game. So I'm actually going to end this off right here. So with that, guys, I've been iCabagon. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and a comment, as well as subscribe for more videos like this one if you have not done so already. Don't forget to check out my links in the description below. I s if, can't really say GG anymore because we have pretty much retired GG, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, sad times. But I will see you all next time for the Let's Play Half-Life Blind.